Good afternoon, I'm John Perkins of the Closing Market Minute. Soybeans, corn, and wheat all finished sharply lower on Friday, pressured by the USDA's new supply, demand, and production projections. For corn and soybeans, USDA made bigger-than-expected increases to this year's production and yield estimates while raising new crop ending stocks projections, largely because of those increased crop production outlooks, because they did also increase new crop corn and soybean export estimates. But again, not enough to break the spell of these higher production outlooks. A lot of those, of course, being influenced by the USDA's recent crop condition ratings. These are the first field survey-based numbers of the season, and those numbers could come down if dry weather continues in some key U.S. growing areas. As for wheat, they lowered the production outlooks, but not by as much as what many analysts had been expecting. Also a factor for corn, beans, and wheat, the dollar index was up Friday against most major currencies. Live and feeder cattle were mixed, watching the tail end of this week's direct cash cattle business. Things were still pretty slow to develop in the south. And hogs were mixed, mostly lower on profit-taking and a lower start to the day for cash business. I'm John Perkins with the Closing Market Minute.